Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist. Today's episode, we're going to be going over 1990 to 1995 Marvel Universe and 1992 to 2008 Marvel Masterpieces. I'm going to show you guys all the chase and promo sets to these. If you guys could see the checklist, I've written down the main sets we're going to go over. 1990 Empo Marvel Universe Series 1, 2, 3, the 1993 Skybox Marvel Universe Series 4, and the 1994 FLIR Marvel Universe Series 5. I also included 1995 FLIR Marvel Metal, which is not really a Marvel Universe set, but the way I have my cards set up, they're all in one binder over here, so I'll include it as well. Then we're going to follow that up by the 1992 Skybox Marvel Masterpieces. 1993, 1994, by the name I can't pronounce, but I'll try it anyway, Hillbrand Brothers. 1995, Fleer Marvel Masterpieces. Then we'll do the last three sets from 2007, which is set one, and 2008, they made two sets, which is set two and set three. All right, guys. Oh, and... Almost forgot about the 2020 Marvel Masterpiece promo card. But anyway, guys, um, I don't know if you guys could see this, but I don't want to keep saying it, so I'll write it down this time. Anyway, let's get started. Starting off with our 1919 Ample Marvel Universe Series 1, the 9-card Toy Biz promo set. So these are pretty easy to extinguish because the front looks like the regular 1990 Marvel Universe. But the back has a Toy Biz variant, which you can see is blue. The regular cards look like... It would look like this, but without the diamond logo. So completely different back for the Toy Biz. And you could find each one of these cards from... A toy package. I'm not sure if you get a character or if it's a set character for whoever you buy it from because I bought it as a set so but let me know in the description if you guys know uh, if say you buy an Archangel figurine it'll come with the Archangel card. Our next set is the diamond promo which there are 20 cards so they come in an uncut four card panel like this and there's five different types of these panels but i just have two to show you guys here which i don't have the complete set but someday maybe when the price go back down i'll have the complete set And I'll tell you guys what numbers they are. They're card 368, 29, 32, 39, 57, 60, 62, 63, 78, 83, 82, 87, 89, 96, 100, 125, 136, and 139. Next, we have our hologram subset for the 1990 Marvel Universe. So there's five of them. And one of my favorite holograms when it first came out, of course, in the 1990. Uh, there's no numbering to them, but we do have a checklist for each one of them. And there's five. But there is a variant that I've noticed, which I will show you guys, which is somewhere here. There it is. So the only difference between these two is the smoke. The way you could tell from the front is that the smoke on Green Goblin's bomb. If I could get the other one is a lot higher on this card 
spice on this card. If you guys could see, this one just barely passes the logo, while this one is all the way at the top. But another main difference between them is that one of them is upside down. So facing the same direction, one of them is upside down. And this is a pretty common enough variant, so I would include it as part of the main set. And I think that's it for the 1990 Marvel Universe. There are other stuff like um, vending cards, uh, vending stickers as well, which I don't have here, but I do have them on my other episodes if you guys want to check those out. There is a 15 card, a 10 card, and a 5 card set with the 1990 Marvel Universe art if you guys check out my vending machine episode. And let's move on to the 1991. So the 1991 has many promos. And looks like we'll start with the holograms for now. We got Spider-Man, Hulk, I don't know if you guys could see it clearly, Punisher, Doctor Doom, and one of the famous battles. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to see because of all this lighting. But there's also a X-Force promo subset, which has five cards, which has the same backs as the as the 1991 set, as I see here. And they have a, I consider the offer card as part of the set as well, which is for a t-shirt. Then we have many promos. One of them is diamond promos as well. You can find these, um, I'm not sure if you, you could buy them cut or uncut, but I bought mine on uncut and I like having cut cards, so. But this is the diamond promo. Actually, I have the. Oh, I guess I I don't have an uncut version. And then we have a cellophane pack of five cards, which are these five here. So they're a little bit variant. All the promos for 1991 Marvel Universe are these five cards, which is uh, Spider-Man, Silver Surfer, Cyclops, Magneto, and the battle between Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. So cards 145, 51, 57, and 24. They also have this um, cello promo pack. And it, they're just a little bit different from the original. Um, it's very minor difference. And I don't know if, I don't remember all of them, but let's see if we could catch some. Here's Spider-Man. Oh, crap. I don't want to forget which one is the variant and which one is not. But you could see here, uh, Peter Parker was bitten by accidentally. While here is Honor Student, Peter Parker was bitten by. Like, the whole, the word is spread out a lot longer on this one. So, let me put this back because I don't want to forget which which one is which you know because <laughs> they're pretty subtle differences it's not really a big difference um, i can't remember it looks it looks alike right now i know one of them is like the the lettering is like going over their head the powers are different um yeah for this one uh everything in their pat and this one ends with the pat so the j just little small differences like that that's how you know it's the variant or the promo card and here we have you guys could see the difference in power ratings while here he has a five 
durability. He has six here. Intelligence, he has five here. Um, he's, he's way like stronger in this card. <laughs> and yeah, for the, you, you guys get the picture. So I'll move on. Another subset for this 1991 Marvel Universe is this is the variant set and it only comes to the first I want to say 20 and the only difference is that if you guys take a look the normal cards has a bold font while this subset has a small um not bolded font so you could only find it on the first 20 cards i believe or 18 18 for sure but i can't remember if i just put the other two in in the binder or not so but yeah those and i think those are all the variants for the 1991. And let's move on to 1992 Empo, Marvel Universe Series 3. Which in here, I guess I only have a an offer card where you could get the collector's tin, the binder, which is like super expensive to get nowadays. Which if I was a collector back then, I probably would have purchased, but... I was still young, so. But anyway, um, I just want to show a couple of uncut promos for this. One is probably the most rare out of all of them is the price guide promo. So pretty much the same exact cards as your normal cards. Oh, I skipped over it. There you go, 1992. So almost the same exact thing as these cards but these are prototype which has the prototype in the back and then you have the diamond promo again which has the diamond promo in the back and yeah so this one is the same as these except it's marked price guide then we have the uncut version of the diamond promo which looks like this. And then we have another promo that looks like it's from Empel. And that's how it looks. And it's marked 17,351 out of 30,000. Pretty cool. I haven't bought another one of this, but maybe someday I will when it's cheap enough and cut it up. Also, there's a card for this set that is a variant and it's number 197. So this is card 197. So normally at the bottom, you will see and by his own hand mere hours. It's missing the and by his own hand mere hours later. So this card would be the variant and this card would be the normal. But I'm not sure um how they play if they're, you know, like 50-50, but I don't know which one is more rare. Hopefully it's the one missing the later, so. But let me know what you guys think if you take a look at your set and which card you have. Then we have the 1992 series three uh, holograms which is probably my least favorite out of all the marvel universe hologram but um i don't know if you can see it we got the hulk thing wolverine venom the promo for venom from advanced comics ghost rider and i have another thing here that's probably seen a lot of like sunlight so I think this is the normal color and this is like the the not so rare faded color. <laughs> but uh, you guys can see. And the last thing I want to talk about with this set is the checklist. 
So the checklist has a variant also, which looks the same in the front, but the back has a white border around it. And if you guys could see it side by side, here's what the regular checklist look like, and here's the one with the white variant. And finally, um, the power ratings card, which is you could only get from the tin set. So you got you got to buy the tin in order to get this card. And there you go. Then we'll move on to our 1993 Marvel, Fleer Marvel Universe Series 4. And here are the promos for that set, which is Deathlock and Silver Sable. So it's like the no normal card in the front, but in the back, it's the Marvel Universe promo. Um, here's the nine card chase for that set which is a red foil and they all connect together just like the regular base set and what i like about these is um you know they they're like foils that connect together with in red so when this first came out like i really i really loved them and back then it was so hard to complete a set cuz you know you didn't have ebay and You've had to pretty much do it the old-fashioned way, um, trade trading cards. <laughs> but um, one thing about these cards, I find that a lot gets dirty easily, and they get those black sticky marks. It's the only thing I don't like about this set. But I bought a couple of ones where it was really dirty, but, you know, for my main set, I try to get the best... Um, the best card that doesn't have those uh, charring or black marks. There's also a prototype that I think is Deathstrike or Tiger Wild. It's probably Tiger Wild. But in the back, it's blank and it just says promotional use only or promo only. Um, I try to get my hands on that, but I lost the bidding. So, And let's see if we got anything else for this set. 1993 red foil silver sable and the hologram set which i have somewhere here i don't know why uh i ran out of sp space so <laughs> i placed it like all the way in in my masterpiece chase set section but this was pretty much the one hologram card that um oh please come out is one of my favorite. It's Spider-Man versus Venom. And I have one of each color. So blue, green, and yellow. Uh, I can't really see it that well, can you? Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, the blue doesn't want to come out. Hmm. It's not looking really yellow right now. Maybe another angle. The holograms don't really come out too well. But, yeah. I guess we'll just show it one by one. Uh, this, this one doesn't even look that yellow. But it is in person. I don't know why I can't show it. It shows like just slightly green. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's the last card for that set. And we'll move on to Marvel Universe Series 5, which was... Ooh, don't want to get my cards damaged. Uh, sorry, guys, it's like all over the place. So, for this set, there's different types i'll show you guys the promo first so this is the nine card 
cut version of the uncut promo. And I just I just like to have it. Anyway, we will move on. So our first sub uh, chase subset is the suspended animation, which are these cards, and there's ten of them. The tent card is probably placed somewhere here. There is also a case stopper for this set, and it has five of these characters that are oversized, like a flare print, which I did not bring out because it's with my flare print set. And here we have the rainbow uh, power blast, which has all the colors. And this is from regular packs. Then you have a hobby box that gives you these sil silver variants. So pretty much the same thing except the background is all silver. And then you have the, I want to say gold, Walmart packs, which has the gold variant. And it looks like this. And that's it. Then for that, you have holograms, which are pretty much blank in the, in the back. And then there is only four, but I do like collecting like different colors. So the default set is like yellowish green, which you could tell with that war machine. And then, oh, wow. In person, these cards look completely different. And the camera, it's showing like, um, like orange, green, green, but I'm looking at it in, in my view, it looks like it's red and then red is reddish or orange and yellow. So I guess different angles on these make it look, uh, makes the color different. So. But yeah, um, there's only four of these. You have War Machine, Silver Surfer. Uh, can we see Spider-Man? Yeah, there you go. I have like this blue, very, very hard to see. And we got Wolverine. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, the angles are bad to show these. All right, we'll move on. That's it for... Oh, we still have the uncut. So there's two versions of these um, Marvel Universe Series 5. And these are the two four card panels. Also, here's the uncut version. Oh, that's the flare. Then we also have these four card uncut. And these came from magazine and it's the spider-man magazine depending on which one you buy i think i can't remember the which number but probably between the the first 10 has promo cards in them which is between these and the marvel um the spider-man and the x-men i think so but these are the ones i have And the other side up, no, nothing. And I guess that'll be it for Marvel Universe Series 5. Let's move on to Metal. So the Metal has these blaster cards. You have the Metal Blaster and the Gold Blaster, which is 18, I want to say. Yeah, 18 of them. So the Metal Blaster has, it's like a rainbow foil to them. And then the Gold Blaster pretty much just changes the background to gold, like so. And there's 18 of them as well. The promo card for this set is Beast. And 
the back looks like this. And also the four card uncut. And I think we're done with the Marvel Universe. Now let's move on to our Marvel Masterpieces. We're going to start off with the Battle Spectra, which are five card subset and pretty much has um, famous battles between our famous characters. Then we have a prototype oh no these are just the regular promo sets so there's six of these uh, regular promos which is Captain America Hulk Psylocke and Silver Surfer Spider-Man and Wolverine and there's also the prototype which is Hulk Spider-Man and Wolverine and they don't have these blue background they just have the same back as a regular card except it has a prototype watermark to it and we also have our lost cards which you could only get from a tin set so there's five of them and they're all, all females and they're labeled lm1 to lm5 maybe it stands for lost masterpieces and there's also a pop-up variant that came with that well they didn't really come with this set but I consider it part of the set but um it's pretty much a pop-up and there's 27 of them I would like to show it to you guys but I don't have my extras and I've never opened these, so I don't really want to mess them up. But when I uh, when I do get my extras, um, I'll show you guys the pop up in a in a future video. And I think that's it for the nineteen ninety two. Let's move on to the nineteen ninety three Skybox Marvel masterpieces. Here we could see three of them, Daredevil, Hulk 2099, and Venom. Their backs are different from the normal cards. As you could see, it's the promo here. The details. Oh look, six card packs, $1.49 suggested retail price. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> we have the chase set which is eight cards and this is the x-men 2099 i'm not familiar with them because they only came out this year they were really popular this year i guess and maybe the x-men 2099 oasis card set but other than that i've um i think i've only seen them for a couple of sets so and they have uh, roughly the same background and then we have a She-Hulk prototype and let's see if we have anything else for 1993 which we don't so we'll be moving up to 1994 Marvel Masterpieces Hillbrand Brothers we will start off with the Power Blast subset which there are 10 and here you could see the power blast side and i'm not really sure which is the front or the back but i thought the power blast side was the front and the actual card that looks like a card is the um the regular i guess the back of the card but yeah we have that then we have our regular, um, what do you call this? Hollow foil, which is also 10. And Captain America, Carnage, Daredevil, Hulk, Iron Man, Punisher. 
Then we have our hobby version, which is a gold version. And they look a lot better. And then we have our most expensive version, which is the Walmart version, which is the bronze. And this is the expensive one. So show you guys uh, all three of them side by side. And there you go. Maybe you guys could distinguish it better. But on camera, the gold and the bronze is really hard to... Yeah, they barely look any different. But the bronze in person look a lot darker. It's like goldish, but a lot darker. Also, here's another one from the Spider-Man magazine promo. And... The back is the same as the regular cards. I actually have a cut up version of these set. And they come with four diff uh, three different types of the four card uncut, which is this. This one has a Psylocke, this one has a Magneto, this one has a Hulk, and this one has a Deadpool. But other than that, they're exactly the same. And here's the last version with Wolverine, War Machine, Green Goblin, and Venom. And I guess you guys can see the 1995 too, which is all Wolverine from different artists. Along with that, there's a nine card uncut, which is like this. And this is how it looks in the back. And also, there are a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So the front would look like this, but the back is just a picture of Captain America. And another one is the National Sports Convention exclusive Venom, which I think is more rare. So yeah, those are the three different nine card panel for that set and I just want to show another card that um, you guys probably don't know about or maybe but it's from a comic book and let's see if I could uh, find it in the comic store here somewhere and let me pick it up on So, this comic book cost me a hundred dollars, and there's a male and female version. I actually just got the female version. <laughs> I bought it yesterday, so, but it's also the marvel universe it's called the x-men captain universe but you get this card which is captain universe number 19 and there's a male and female version and also the comic book um all the drawings that are captain marvel the male version it'll all be female version so that's the one i got and yeah it's pretty pricey so <laughs> but maybe you guys could find it for for cheap but I really wanted it, so I got it for $120 yesterday. And maybe yeah, I'll show you guys in a future episode. And I think that's all I have for the 1994. And I already showed you guys the four card on cut for the 1995. But that set comes with a 22 card canvas set, which is this cards right here. That's 18. And they have a really nice canvas feel to them. Like so. 
and we got the hollow foil which is eight cards for that set and let's see if we could see more rainbow in there mm, you can't really appreciate on camera how beautiful these cards look because of just the lighting is hard to angle it so that it looks good anyway um I think that's it for the 1995 Marvel Masterpieces and we'll move on to <coughs> the 2007 Skybox Marvel Masterpieces Series 1. So here we have the first five promo cards which is P1 to P5. P1 to P5. For set 1. They also had a preview set, which I want to say it was Comic-Con, but is these nine cards right here. With the numbering PT1 through PT9. So it was a preview set. There's a folder that goes in this, but I was only able to buy the card. I was really excited when I bought this because you don't see it often, this preview set for the 2007. And also a oversized card. And unfortunately, it's not signed because it will probably be worth more. But I think I purchased this for 60 bucks on the auction at the time. And I think it's you, Joe Jusco gave these out in a convention and then he signed it. So, but there you go. And along with that, there are also case toppers, I'm gonna say, or maybe box toppers. I'm not really sure, but. Maybe it's just box toppers because they sell it cheap. But you have these oversized cards as well. And they look like the regular cards. But just smaller. Or, uh, sorry, bigger. <laughs> and then we'll move on to the subsets. Oh, I think this is for the set two promos, which is P6 to P10. As you can see. P6 to P... Oh, P11. So P11 is for a set three. Somehow... Um, the first set and the second set got five cards each, and then the third set just got one card. <laughs> How fair. And then we have the case stopper, which is a black and white version of this art right here by, I want to say, Art Adams. So yeah, I got the third card only, and I've been trying to find the other two, but... They're a pretty hard card to come by nowadays because uh, they've been selling out. So, and here are the other subsets by Ross. And apparently, the other one is also by Ross. That's because it's the same exact picture except in black and white. <laughs> and the last art. Three card subset is by Drew Struzan. And then we have a subcast subset. And finally for the set three, for every pack you buy, you'll get one of these. It's a Spider-Man, uh, I wanna call it promo, but it just comes with the, with the card number. And this is the 2020 Marvel Masterpieces promo. Then we have our set two, 
I believe. 2008. Yeah. This is the set two subset, which is the Avengers. There's a regular version of this, and I think uh, one that looks regular. So. Then we have a heroin subset. And the last cards for the set two are the Hulk and Iron Man die cuts, which I lost. You probably guys saw in our flip me over it in earlier. Um, where is it? But uh, the so they're labeled A, B, and C. A is like the most common. You could probably buy them for like, I don't know, less than five bucks for both of them. But the B and C sets. So these are the A. What are the cheap ones? And then you have the B, uh, Hulk and Iron Man, and the C, Hulk and Iron Man right here, which is probably pricey now. Because at the time, I think it cost me probably like 200 bucks. But yeah, if you guys could see the Hulk A, Hulk B, see and I think that's it for set two and let's move on to our final set the 2008 set three and it's just a nine card bronze Marvel Knight set which is this set right here And then a more rare silver X-Men identity set, which is right here. Um, I've forgotten what the ratio of uh, these cards, but maybe in a future episode I could look it up. But these are the more the most rare subset here, which is the gold Marvel moments. And, and I think that's all I have for you guys for this episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that Marvel Universe and Marvel Masterpieces promos and subsets, uh, chase subsets. And like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.